Here's your wrestling news for November 28th, 2022. And we're starting off today with Roman Reigns, who for over 800 days has dominated as WWE's Universal Champion, demolishing every opponent in his way. At last weekend's Survivor Series War Games event, the Bloodline once again left the show victorious, but we already know about WWE's plans for the new year. With the promotion scrapping both TLC and Day 1, WWE's next premium live event will be the Royal Rumble, and Reigns will be putting his title on the line. Sources have confirmed that the plan is for Reigns to face Kevin Owens, but added that originally, the plan was for Sheamus to face the Tribal Chief. Interestingly, it was at the Royal Rumble in 2021 that Owens challenged for the Universal title, losing to the head of the table in a last man standing match. It was around that time that Reigns spoke candidly about Owens in an interview with CBS Sport, saying that KO brings something unique to the table and has a relentlessness to be great. While Owens is a former Universal Champion, fans shouldn't expect a title change, as the report adds that the WrestleMania plans for Owens don't include the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Instead, the plan for WrestleMania is for Owens to challenge undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions The Usos, and his partner will be Sami Zayn. At this time, Zayn is incredibly loyal to the bloodline, and it is worth stressing that this is only a plan WWE is thinking along right now, and nothing is certain at this point. Sources within WWE even admitted that at one point, the plan was for Zayn to challenge Reigns at the Royal Rumble, but that match will instead happen at February's Elimination Chamber event in Montreal. Montreal is, of course, Zayn's hometown, but after close to a year aligned with the bloodline, time will tell if his tenure with the group changes or if WWE books a different plan. Now at Survivor Series, Sami Zayn confirmed his loyalty to the bloodline, delivering a low blow to his best friend Kevin Owens. The prize fighter was just moments away from securing the victory and being the first person in years to pin Roman Reigns before Zayn stopped the referee's pinfall attempt. Zayn's actions clearly had a deep impact on Owens, as footage caught after the show made clear. In a fan recording once Survivor Series War Games went off the air, a clearly upset Owens can be seen removing his wrist tape and walking out of the double cage structure. Owens had pled with his friend on the SmackDown before Survivor Series, saying that the bloodline will turn on Zayn, but that wasn't enough to sway Sammy away from the group. Sami Zayn's association with the Bloodline has been one of the hottest acts in pro wrestling today, and while the former Intercontinental Champion has rightfully been praised for his work, Kevin Owens has also done fantastic with his storytelling. Survivor Series War Games also saw AJ Styles defeat Finn Balor after close to two months of the OC feuding with the Judgment Day. This marked Styles' first premium live event in over a year, but the big question now is what's next for Styles, Gallows, and Anderson? The most obvious answer is for the OC to try and establish dominance as a stable, but there are other compelling factors in their next feud. Well, according to our sources, two huge ideas are being set up, which will see the OC appearing more on SmackDown in the coming weeks and months. It's reported that WWE is considering having the OC feud with Imperium, who have proven their own dominance in both NXT and WWE. With WWE relaxing the rules about strict rosters, it wouldn't be too strange to see the three Raw superstars on SmackDown, and likewise, we'd see more of Imperium on Raw. This would especially be good news for the USA Network, who have been frustrated with Roman Reigns not appearing regularly on Raw, and having the Intercontinental Champion on the show would only be a good thing. Speaking of Reigns, the other idea being considered is for the OC to step up to the bloodline, with Styles stepping up to the Tribal Chief, with Gallows and Anderson taking on the Usos. This idea has a lot of support backstage, with some arguing that a beatdown by the entire bloodline on Gallows and Anderson would be a smart way to write them off of TV for their appearances for New Japan Pro Wrestling. With the bloodline dispatching of arguably the top five babyfaces on SmackDown, the group needs new superstars to face and that could send Roman Reigns and his family on a collision course with the OC. As one of the most recognizable names in both WWE and UFC, Brock Lesnar is no stranger to having his name and likeness on merchandise, ranging from DVDs to action figures to posters from events. Now Lesnar has a new piece of merch to his name, but this is a licensed item that's far more savory. 
Speaking to Sports Bible Snack Wars, Triple H revealed that the Beast now had his own brand of beef jerky called Bearded Butcher Brock Lesnar Beef Bites. Triple H added that he's quite a beef jerky connoisseur, and a four ounce bag of Lesnar's Beef Bites will set you back $9.99. Lesnar started his beef jerky during the pandemic when his contract with WWE was coming to an end, and Brock recalled building his own butcher shop to hold all the wild animals he'd hunted. Brock has been a major success in both MMA and pro wrestling, where he's spent much of his run as a heel, but now this beefy jerk has some beef jerky to his name. Now with Survivor Series War Games in the history books, the attention of fans turns to tonight's Raw, which will mark the start of the long march to the Royal Rumble. At last Saturday's event, Rhea Ripley was part of the losing team in the Women's War Games match, but the Eradicator is looking to bounce back as soon as tonight's show. Sources have revealed that the plan for tonight is for Ripley to officially begin a feud with Bianca Belair, which will see the Australian try and dethrone the EST as Raw Women's Champion. Fans will remember that Ripley was scheduled to lock horns with Belair for the title at this year's Money in the Bank, which didn't happen due to Rhea's brain injury, but WWE wants to get back on schedule tonight. During the Survivor Series post-show press conference, Bianca name-dropped Rhea, saying she would like to face Ripley in a singles match and see who wins. Now it looks like Belair is going to get her wish and expect the build towards that match to get started in just a few hours' time. Ripley hopes to be the next Raw Women's Champion and dethrone Bianca Belair, but the Judgment Day members' focus was on a different champion after last night's War Games match. During the women's match, Io Sky put herself through a lot, even doing a diving moonsault off the top of the cage, and that took its toll on the women's tag team champion. As seen in fan-recorded footage, Sky stumbled and collapsed walking down the steel steps after the match, and Ripley was quick to check on her. Ripley, who had taken a beating herself during the match, even carried Sky on her shoulders to the back, and we hope that nobody was too banged up after stepping into war games. Now since May, Sasha Banks has been missing from WWE TV after she and Naomi walked out of an episode of Raw due to creative differences with the planned main event. Though there was a time when it looked like Banks was done with WWE, it has since been reported that her return is imminent, but months have gone by with no sign of the boss. On the latest Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained how well both Banks and WWE are committed to bringing her back, the question now is about money. When Banks and Naomi walked out, both women's contracts were due to expire, and obviously, how much Banks thinks she should be paid differs from WWE's opinion on her worth. Banks has been very active outside of WWE and on social media, but there's countless fans who would rather see her back in the ring, and soon. Ultimately, Banks will only return to WWE TV if she and the company can reach a deal, and while she's not as out of WWE as it seemed earlier this year, the boss is far from returning anytime soon. Banks didn't appear at WWE Survivor Series War Games, much to the annoyance of the Boston crowd, who tried to make their displeasure heard. During Ronda Rousey's match with Shotzi, chants for the boss broke out, but she probably didn't hear them on the broadcast. Brian Alvarez reported on Wrestling Observer Radio that WWE ended up muting the chants, saying that fans can make of WWE not wanting a Banks chant on TV what they will. Whether Banks returns to WWE TV or not, that remains to be seen, but WWE didn't want anyone to even be speaking her name during last weekend's premium live event. Do you think WWE was right to mute the crowd in Boston, or should they have let the crowd's voice be heard? In 2016, Brian Kendrick returned to WWE as part of the WWE Cruiserweight Classic and would later become a backstage producer before leaving earlier this year. In February, Kendrick's AEW debut was cancelled after controversial comments from his past came to light, but Fightful Select reports that Kendrick is back with WWE. For the SmackDown women's title match between Ronda Rousey and Shotzi at Survivor Series War Games, Kendrick produced the match alongside Jason Jordan. Kendrick, to his credit, has worked to better himself after his controversial comments, having apologized for what he said, and has worked closely with Holocaust memorial groups. Before his departure earlier this year, Kendrick was said to be well-liked backstage and produced matches for NXT UK, and after everything that's happened, we'll have to see whether this return to WWE will be for the long term. Last night, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat made his return to wrestling, competing in his first match in over a decade. 
Teaming up with FTR at Big Time Wrestling, the trio faced Brock Anderson, Jay Lethal, and their mystery partner, which was revealed to be none other than Nick Aldis. After an impressive match, FTR and Steamboat got the win, and the reviews for the bout have been nothing short of glowing. On social media, fans shared their love for the Dragon's performance and appreciated FTR for working with the WWE Hall of Famer. This is just the latest high-profile match for FTR, have had an exceptional 2022. One fan even noted that, all you do is legendary sh in response to a tweet by Dax Harwood, who was thrilled that he could team up with the legendary Ricky Steamboat. Even at 69, Steamboat showed that he can still go in the ring, and while he has no plans to wrestle again, this match was a fitting love letter to one of the all-time greats. And we're ending today with Dustin Rhodes, who joined AEW in 2019 and spent much of his time teaming with his brother. Of course, Cody is now in WWE and is expected to be the next top star, and fans shouldn't expect the two to share the ring again. Speaking on Talk is Jericho about their acclaimed match from Double or Nothing 2019, Dustin said that he's been asked by fans to do another match, but a sequel is off the table as it just couldn't live up to expectations. Dustin said that he still misses his younger brother but knows Cody will do great things once he's healed and back in WWE, but a rematch between the Rhodes brothers is officially not going to happen. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.